Oh, hey guys, welcome to more Splatoon. Captain Cuttlefish is captured. What am I gonna do? Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, we're in this new area here, so let's uh get in the fray and get our uh, I guess, I, what is, is he your captain? I don't know. Our faithful leader, anyways. Let's get him back. So we're gonna start with number 16, which is right here underneath. So, propeller lift fortress. Spin to win! Here we go! Oh, already friends. So we have the help of agents 1 and 2 with us now, which will Who could they be? We'll find out eventually. Spoilers, but we do. Uh, yeah, so... As of right now, just the usual, breaking boxes, getting stuff done. But now I've got these propellers, which they, they've introduced to us before, but they're gonna have us go through and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with them this level. So, here we go. <sighs> uh, where to begin? Alright, come on. Oh yes, this one here. So this one here, I've gotta actually climb up the side quickly and... If I'm quick enough, I should be able to get up here. And, oh, I, f I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> I was trying to get sneaky and uh, get through the entire thing using the uh, the burst bombs to help speed me up. Because I've actually gotten very much into the uh, habit of using uh, burst bombs to get me across gaps. So, there's some armor there. Yeah, I don't necessarily need it. It gives me a bonus, but that's fine. We'll get plenty of... Um, eggs using doing the amiibo missions too so I'm not too concerned so checkpoint all oh, these little these little guys I might just ignore you uh-huh yeah I think I will you aren't necessary to my completion and I'm uh, distraught because Captain Cuttlefish isn't here anymore oh but I will grab that that's pretty cool I could have had an extra antenna on my helmet, I realize that now. Oh well. Checkpoint. So as you can see, they're starting to throw um, some heavier hitting enemies at us, which is good, because honestly, when I first started playing uh, the single player campaign, I was I was kind of thought it was a little easy, it was a lot of fun, because I was able to get used to the uh, mechanics of everything, but uh it never really felt challenging until I got to like the Octarians or Octolings. Okay, let's get that as far as we can go. All right, I almost walked off a ledge there. All right, so let's get up here, and it's gonna throw us right into a fight. So let's just, <laughs> you know, ideally I should use tactics that they've been teaching me throughout this entire game, like you know, hide or gain cover or something like that. Uh, let's go up here. Yeah. But, you know, where's the fun in that? That would require cunning and skill. Okay. Hello, propeller dude. Oh, you're all kind of cute. You're all kind of squishy. All right. Oh, I love these cannons. Uh, hold the squid button to fire, and then we're just going to lob some grenades at this thing. And... Quickly, get on! <laughs> Uh, PSA, look where you're jumping. Uh, in real life and in Splatoon. Don't just go, like, jumping off piers and... <sighs> going for swims, especially if you're made of ink that dissolves in water. You know, evolution will bring you so far, but you gotta... You gotta do the other half to survive. Oh, come on. Speaking of which... Oh boy. I would cut that stuff out, but no, you're here for the, uh... <laughs> the whole entire ride. Uh, let's see, get that shot, all right. Uh, done, squidding complete. Balloons, attack. Okay, so, if you notice that little floating platform up there, that's where we wanna go. Because there might be a little piece of paper that we're interested in up there. So let's split up here. Got that. And... Uh, platforming! Yay! So there we go. There's the Sunken Sea Scroll. Jump back over here and let's continue on to this level. 
Sung and C Sea Scrolls did add quite a bit of replay value for me, because I didn't get them all in my first try when playing this, and uh, it was fun to try and find them all. Ooh, Tuna. Oh, Octolings. Hello. Is there more? Yeah. Oh, you got kelp. Ooh. I, oh, yeah, right. I died because of water, and I didn't have armor. I thought I was going to be able to take a few hits, so let's change things up to... Now let's stick with Splat Bombs. I can take them. Alright, so there's one down, and soften her up. Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, see, uh... Oh! <laughs> wow, that's embarrassing. Uh, too many water deaths. I'm gonna head back in and get back to where I was. <laughs> Okay, and we're back. Ugh, right with the checkpoint in sight. So, uh, let's take on these Octoling chicks again. Okay, there's one down. So, I notice my tactic t seems to be uh, get up really close and then just uh, open fire. Uh, oh, well, gee, that would have helped. Uh, <laughs> And I think that's probably like harkening back to when I used to like play uh, NES or well, playing Duck Hunt and I'd just get really close to the screen even though that didn't actually help uh, apparently but I was not very coordinated when I was like I don't know how old was I when, when I played Duck Hunt Crackle Hello can you hear me? Hello? You're holding that upside down Oh, uh, Agent 1 of the new Squid Beaks Platoon reporting in. Agent 2 also reporting in. We've got an SOS from Captain Cuttlefish. Are you Agent 3? Don't worry, we're the new support team. Yep, we're taking over for the captain. We're gonna try, but we're gonna, but we gotta hurry for the, or the captain is good, as good as sushi. Let's roll, Agent 3. I don't know how holding a microphone upside down would really be an issue, but I'll hand them, whatever. Before the Great Turf War, there was an amicable relation between the Inklings and Octarians. They couldn't have uh, dreamed that rising sea levels would force them to battle fiercely over remaining territory. And if, ah, uh, what do you know? Uh, it's weird to see the adult forms of squids, because we don't really see them in that style, but uh, what do you know? There's a guy with like a little um, navy hat and a samurai helmet. That's kind of neat. Neat, I say. Okay, so, let's rescue Captain Cuttlefish and the Great Zapfish. So, those are our new support characters. I alluded to them in the beginning. Uh, but, uh... Yeah. Oh, I skipped a level. Whatever. As I said before, the uh, <clears throat> placement of them is not crucial. Or the order you do it. Spreaders! Whoa! Whoa, whoa! So these things, as you can see, it's just like a giant push broom full of, uh, full of ink. I just go around and uh, paint everything purple, which is not the color of the day. This is the Barney colored level, and as you can see, like I I've mentioned it before, but like the uh, the state of this place and just like the see all the dilapidated stuff around, it's uh, pretty crazy. Oh boy, Let's get in close to this guy here and get that guy. We avoid getting spreaded. Um, get up there. Smooth moves! Alright, so... But yeah, I, I like how they just like took one theme like... I don't know, I guess the Oct uh, Octarians found a uh, dumping ground for an old uh, f carnival music theme park. Like, there's some spinning teacups back there, I see, like, in the shape of a rotating UFO and like... I don't know, floating... No, those aren't floating rocks, they're attached to the ceiling, but... It's weird, man. I'm just roll... That'd be one wicked roller coaster ride to go around here. I would actually. I don't really puke on roller coasters. I get motion sick, but uh, not through things like that. It's uh, typically just spinny rides, like those teacups I was mentioning before. All right, so. Oh, and <laughs> honestly, sometimes when I'm playing Splatoon, I get a little motion sick. Uh, probably because I don't play as often as I used to, but. That's fine. Okay, there's a checkpoint achieved. Climb up this brick wall. And hopefully not get um, ruined by these guys. Okay, okay, enough, enough. 
gonna squib quietly over here and then maybe just throw some bombs into the abyss. Great strategy. Okay. In we go. Uh, Alright. So I got the key from that guy. I'm just gonna go down mosey on over here. Unlock this thing. Buy the glossy teacups once again and uh smells like octoling. Like delicious takoyaki. I'm in. Okay, there's one more. So I go really quiet when I'm fighting them because I actually do have to concentrate a little bit. So there's the key. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh oh. Nuts. I missed. <laughs> I missed the Sungen Sea Scroll. I made a point not to. And I did. Ugh. That sucks. I'll have to go back and get it. Anyways. Uh, let's just get some eggs here before I go. Oh, that sucks. And the th thing that I hate most is, like, they normally, uh, they show you. They, they normally put it in so uh, your line of sight before you actually go there and get it, but, uh... All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back in and grab that. Okay, so the uh, Sung and Sea Scroll is not very uh, not very far into the level, so I thankfully didn't have to go far. I just got past that first like test spreader and back on these platforms, and it's it's in that box over there. So I'm just gonna fast track a little bit, get that guy. Uh, sure. You can call it smooth moves and jump. Woo! I thought I was gonna miss that. Anyways, I'm gonna finish off the level and uh, <laughs> and I'll uh, cut back to when I'm back in Octa Valley. Okay, I'm gonna dummy. Oh, it's a dummy zapfish. Pat pat. It's Black Friday every day at Booyah Base. Ultra Mega Hyper Sale. Every deal's a door buster. If you don't, if you want to be the freshest squid in Encopolis, you cannot miss this incredible opportunity. So, uh, this isn't necessarily history, but it is a glimpse into Encopolis or Inkling culture. Once again, they're fashion crazed little uh, squids. So, anyways, let's. Uh, Let's head off to uh, level 17, which is not lo located in level, uh, next to level 16. It's actually just right here. Why there? Uh, was that 19? <laughs> I wish I could count. So I have that little cut there. I uh, went the wrong way. <laughs> and I really want to try and get these in at least somewhat to a close uh, approximation of numerical value. So. It's just right here. <laughs> uh, here we go. It just sucks because I do research before I start these things. And uh, apparently it's just not enough. Okay, so there is a sniper here as evidenced by that um, glowing red laser. So let's switch to our seekers and just hitch a ride. A, de a deadly ride over there. Um, go back this way. Just take that guy out because he's a pest, and then these guys. <sighs> oh, this place is kind of a neat little underground, isolated, like, I don't know, air area. There's a lot of propellers. Reminds me of, um, not necessarily Skies of Arcadia, but maybe, maybe a little bit. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Oh, there's a red laser. What could that be? Oh, I forgot I was on C, I was expecting burst bombs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, mister. Hey, hey, easy. <laughs> I don't know if you heard it, but uh, my squid went, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's just hang up this area here so we can swoop in and secret him right in the face. <laughs> Take a breather behind that wall. All right, so I will, but I'm going to do it down here because it happens to be where our next sunken sea scroll is. And then we'll uh, escape back to our little hidey perch to gain our uh, bearings again, and maybe... Uh, yep, throw a seeker out nowhere. Oh, they followed those, that's cool. All 
Alright, so one guy down, and we'll take these guys out in a bit. Do not squid over here, <laughs> otherwise I will go through the grates, take care of this guy, switch. Switch to the uh, burst bombs. Actually, let's, let's stick with them. I wonder if Nintendo would ever um, do like a Splatoon themed like paintball area, because like one of the items you can get is like a paintball mask. Seems like it would make sense. Uh, I ran out of ink. <laughs> that could have ended poorly, but it didn't. That means I'm awesome. Alright, so, oh boy. Woo, 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 get out of here. Okay, okay, I get it, you're a sniper. God, don't have to rub it in my face. Let me take out your friends in peace, alright? Alright? Okay, okay, okay. I, I get it, I get it. You're upset, you're upset, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> those guys run away from it. Oh, it's cute. Alright, let's switch to, uh, oh boy. Burst bombs. No, I said burst bombs. Ah, my big thumbs foil me again. Oh, there's um, squeegee there. No matter. I think. All right. There we go. Hello, friend. Oh, uh, it's not. It's, I wasn't going after him just because uh, he was uh, shooting at me from afar. I, I the launch pad was underneath there. Oh boy. Uh, I'm hiding as a squid in plain sight. <laughs> that was a bit of a dodgy movement. Uh, let's shoot that. And get out of there. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, I knew he was going to shoot and I just needed to make sure I got off that uh, sponge as quick as I could. Alright. <laughs> Is that an emoticon for Zapfish? Are you giving me an emoticon for... Uh, that fish somehow over the radio. That seems a little odd to me. Okay, so here's gonna be the game of hide from all the snipers slash chargers. And then the burst bomb and the blast. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, give, me, give me a little bit of a seeker path here, please. Why is that happening to me? My big thumbs are getting in the way. <laughs> He's just looking right at it. <laughs> Just a bit farther. All right, let's uh, secret these guys. They seem to really like them. So here, have another. And point blank secret. All right, there we go. Cool. And another zapfish. <laughs> you know what noise zapfish make? Ugh, it's gross. It's disgusting. Look at him wobble. <laughs> I am. Ugh. Incredibly, hold on a second. The, these two cousins from the Calamari co County won Incopolis's first annual youth sing folk singing contest. Their remarkable voices earned them a standing ovation from all present and catapulted them into the spotlight. <laughs> it's Callie and Marie. With like, they've had the same headwear since birth, apparently, where she's got that one little like dog food bowl, and I don't know what that what that is on uh, Callie's head, but anyways, it's cute. Look at it. Little adorable squid kids. Uh, nice, at this rate you'll have the great zapfish in no time. Okay, I'm going to cut this video here. Um, hope you'll join me next time on Splatoon when we take on the next three levels. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.